Hello and welcome. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to use the Payment Adjustment feature in Tabs 3 Billing. The Payment Adjustment feature allows you to reverse an entire payment or refund a portion of a payment that has already been billed and updated. Note that if the payment has not been final billed and updated, you can use the Payment Entry program to edit or delete the payment. However, to show the client that the payment was received, you may want to wait until after the payment has been included on a bill and then use Payment Adjustment to issue the refund. Let's get started. There are a couple different ways that you can access the Payment Adjustment feature. You can search for Payment Adjustment in the Quick Launch, or you can access Payment Adjustment features from the Matter Manager. From the Payments list, select the payment that you need to adjust. This will open a payment information page where you can see how the payment was allocated and if the payment includes an unallocated amount. There are two types of payment adjustments that you can perform from the Take Action menu. If you need to refund an unallocated portion of the payment or move the unallocated amount to a different matter, select Refund Payment. If you need to reverse out an entire payment, select Reverse Payment. For this example, we'll be refunding the unallocated portion of the payment back to the client. In Take Action, select Refund Payment. Since we're opening the Payment Adjustment window from the Payment page of the Matter Manager, the client and payment have already been specified. If you need to select a different payment for this matter, click the drop-down arrow next to Reference and choose a payment from the Payment Ledger Lookup. In the Payment Information section, summary information about the payment will be displayed. In Adjustment Information, you can select an adjustment date and amount for the refund. This date is used for the reversing client ledger payment record that will be created. Note that the adjustment amount cannot exceed the unapplied amount specified above. When performing a reversal, the adjustment amount will be pre-filled with the full amount of the payment. After entering information for the refund, click OK. A confirmation window will be displayed. Click Yes to confirm that you want to adjust the payment. A Payment Adjustment Options window will be displayed. This window is used to specify what you plan to do with the refund. If you plan to write a check for the refund, select Yes to the question. When integrating with Tabs 3 Financials, Tabs 3 General Ledger Journal Entries will not be created when Yes is selected. Manual GL Journal Entries will need to be made unless you're using Tabs 3 Accounts Payable to write the check. In this case, Accounts Payable will create the corresponding journal entries. Selecting No allows you to simply record the refund, create a payment for a different client, or deposit the refund amount into client funds for a client. In this case, Tab 3 Billing will make the corresponding general ledger journal entries for the amount of the refund. When ready, click OK. On the GLS Adjusting Journal Entries window, select a date to use for the reversing journal entries. These entries can affect reconciliation in General Ledger. Next, you can enter a payment adjustment description to record details about the refund. This can be shown on statements and on the payment information page from the Matter Manager. When ready, click OK to save the record and close the payment adjustment tab. If you chose to apply the reversal or refund as a payment to a client or to deposit it to client funds, a payment or client funds entry window for the specified client will be displayed. You can choose to print an additional verification list if desired. Back on the Payment Information page, the refund will be included in the Payment Adjustments area, and the matter will be updated to reflect the change. And that's all it takes to make a payment adjustment in Tabs 3 Billing. For more information, check out our help topics by clicking the question mark icon on the toolbar. Thanks for watching. See you next time.